With AI tools like Midjourney, you can create jaw-dropping, totally realistic images in just minutes. Seriously, the pictures you're seeing right now, 100% AI made with Midjourney. No camera, no Photoshop, just pure AI magic. And today, I'm going to walk you through a quick Midjourney tutorial on how to drop your own character straight into an AI-generated scene. Sounds complicated? Don't worry. It's actually way easier than you think. Stick with me. You're going to love this. Step 1. We're going to design our custom character. You get to choose everything. Their look, their vibe, their style. Think of it as building your digital twin or your fantasy alter ego. Pretty fun, right? Step 2. We'll take that character and place them into any AI image you want. A fashion shooting? Done. A selfie for Instagram? No problem. The options are endless. Oh, and here's a little spoiler. This doesn't just work for images. You can actually turn these into super cool AI videos too. But I'll show you how to do that a little later. All right, let's kick things off with a super simple prompt. Photo of a woman, 25 years old. Nothing fancy, just a clean base to work from. Now, here's where the magic happens. If you want your model to feel more alive, you can use a quick trick in Midjourney. Describe the model's eyes. So, let's try. Photo of a woman with blue eyes, 25 years old. Already better, right? but we can push it even further by adding just one little adjective. Let's say, with seductive blue eyes. Oh yeah, now the portrait has a story to tell. Next, let's choose a hair color and add it to the prompt with seductive blue eyes and red hair. I went with red because it pops, but you can go blonde, brunette, silver, or even neon pink if you're feeling bold. And finally, let's tweak the age. I started with 25 years old, but you could make her younger, older, whatever fits your vision. The beauty of AI art is you're in total control. So let's tweak our prompt just a little bit. We're going to add one word, attractive. Next, we'll use Midjourney to generate a whole bunch of images. And from those, we'll pick one character we like best. But before we do that, I want to quickly explain four parameters in Midjourney that can seriously change your results. If you click on settings, you can switch from standard to raw. Now, raw mode is kind of like turning off Midjourney's built-in beauty filter. You sometimes get more photorealistic images. I tested it with my prompt, and honestly, the difference here is subtle, but it's worth knowing about. Second, stylization. This one's huge. The stylized parameter tells Midjourney how much artistic flair it should add. Low values, very literal, almost plain. High values, more artsy, more dramatic. If you're trying to create a realistic model, I'd recommend keeping it somewhere between 100 and 500. That's the sweet spot. Third, weirdness. Yep, that's the actual name. Weirdness gives you unpredictable, unusual images. You never really know what you're gonna get. So if you want a character who looks like they just step out of a creepy horror movie, this is your parameter. Me personally, I think I'll leave the psychopath look for another video. And finally, variety. This one kicks in when you're making variations of an image. Low values keep things close to your original. High values, you'll get some wild new directions. For creative projects, it's awesome. But here, I'd say stick below 15. Otherwise, it drifts way too far from your original prompt. All right, so I ran my prompt a few times, mixed things up with these settings, and check this out. I've now got a whole lineup of characters to choose from, and some of these look seriously good. This one here, 
Yeah, I really like it. It's got personality, feels pretty realistic, and honestly, I think it's a keeper. Now remember, at this stage, we're just picking the face we'll use as a base for our future images. Once you've chosen one, just click Upscale on the right. That'll generate a higher resolution version you can download. And here's the cool part. That character can now be dropped into all kinds of new scenes with Midjourney. Think of it like casting your own actor for every creative project you've got. All right, let me show you exactly how this works. We'll start super simple with a basic prompt. Selfie of an attractive woman on a plane, wearing a gray cardigan and a delicate necklace, posted to Instagram. I added two parameters, raw mode and stylize 200. Now I'll run it twice. And boom, not bad at all, right? Looking pretty clean already. But check this out. This is where the magic happens. If you want Midjourney to actually use your own character, just click Add Images up top, then hit Upload File. I'll drag my picture right onto Omni Reference. And yep, send that prompt twice again. So what's going on here? Well, Omni Reference is a game changer. It's basically telling the AI, put this character in my image. That means you're not just generating random faces anymore. You're creating with your own style, your own character. And here we go. Boom, look at that. My custom character is now fully integrated. How cool is that? Oh. You won't regret it, just try something else. And one more tip. If you click edit on the right side, you can actually expand your picture a bit. Just stretch the bottom edge out a little, and there you go. I think this version looks really solid. With Midjourney, you can create literally any kind of image you can imagine. And with the Omni Reference feature, you can even drop your own custom character right into the scene. You don't even need complicated prompts. I've been experimenting with a bunch of these, and honestly, the results are so good, super realistic, super professional. All right, now here comes the part I know you're gonna love. You can actually take any of these images and turn them into a video with just one click. Yep, one click. Want to see how? All you do is head to the bottom right, hit Animate Image and select High Motion. That's it. By the way, here's the prompt I used for this one. A beautiful woman with a black shirt and skirt is dancing at a festival in the crowd. People dancing in the background, wide perspective, soft light, sunset. And here it comes. Oh yeah, how cool is that? I've made a bunch of these videos now and I'm still blown away by how easy it is. Seriously, if this impressed you even a little, hit that like button right now. Quick bonus tip before we wrap up. If you ever wanna tweak your images, like maybe add a tattoo or change a detail, here's what you do. Just click on the edit button, update your prompt with what you wanna add, then use the erase tool to highlight the area you want changed. Hit submit. And damn, your image is updated. Easy as that. And that's it for today's tutorial. I really hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps more than you know. And hit subscribe so you don't miss the next AI trick I've got lined up. Got questions? Drop them in the comments.